fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Hawk Cruiser Patrol with Black Adam and Hawkman. And I'm also throwing in this Cyclone figure as well from the same line. So I know I've kind of missed the party a little bit on this one. This movie has come and gone. I haven't seen it. I didn't get to see it in theaters. Uh, but from what I heard, kind of mixed reviews back and forth. So I'm excited to see it. I thought it looked pretty fun. I held off initially on picking up the individual figures because I saw Amazon had a five pack and I was hoping that was going to go on sale on Black Friday. And then it turns out that that five pack, none of the figures come with their accessories. So then I kind of switched tactics and decided to get the figures that do come with the accessories. And now, of course, most stores don't have them. So if you look on the back of the packaging here, the five pack for this wave, and I think it's a once and done wave because, you know, it's kind of the same with the Batman the movie came out, it's gone, they're not making a second wave. I'm missing Dr. Fate and Adam Smasher, I'm hoping one day I can find them. Uh, we'll see, I don't know how that's going to work out. But considering this might be the only review I do for Black Adam stuff, I decided to just kind of do it all together. So we have the standalone Cyclone, and then we have this uh, Hawk Patrol, Hawk Cruiser Patrol. It seems like it should be Patrol Cruiser, but what do I know? Uh, so at least I have three of the five figures. So packaging's pretty cool. I like how the plastic bubble is shaped like a lightning bolt. I think that's kind of neat. Of course, you have a nice picture of the rock in the corner for everything. Again, back just shows you the five figures that are available in the assortment. We'll put that off to the side. Here is the Hawk Cruiser Patrol. So we have the two figures here of Black Adam and Hawkman. And then you can see that it looks like the uh, bay doors here open. There's a cockpit that opens uh, 16 inches apparently wide with the wingspan, so we'll check that out. Uh, just says Black Adam on the top, not really anything going on on the bottom. On the side, we got a picture of the rock, just says Black Adam over here as well. And then, oh, looks like mine got a little dented in transit, not a big deal. Uh, the two figures and the ship. So not a ton going on with the packaging. Now, I know there's also a two-pack of Black Adam and like a standard grunt guy that comes with like a flying motorcycle that I think is a Walmart exclusive. So I'll have to check into that as well. You know, hopefully I can still collect the rest of this line. But in the meantime, let's go ahead. Let's get these out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. So we'll get to the ship in a moment. I just wanted to take a look at the three figures first. We'll start over here on the left with Black Adam. So this is your standard Black Adam figure. You're probably going to end up with a few of these by the time you're done if you're collecting the entire line. Because he's packed in with a lot of things. He has a single figure release. He's packed in with the ship. He's packed in with that two pack I mentioned earlier. And also that five pack on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, he looks okay. You can see he comes with these two lightning accessories. And these just peg into his hands. So it can make it look like he is shooting lightning, which is not too bad. They're actually decent accessories. I am going to put them off to the side so we can take a look at the figure. Uh, first thing, this leg is a little loose, I gotta be honest. It's a little wiggly there. It's not terrible and it's not like he'll have trouble standing, but it's just not as tight as I would like it to be. Uh, facial expression is kind of hilarious. He's just, it's like he's trying to do the people's eyebrow, but they just didn't paint it up there. I don't know, but it's just kind of a fun... Uh, a facial expression. The eyes are a little weird to me though, but overall not too bad. Uh, head can swivel from side to side. You have the elbow on a hinge there as well as a rotation. You have a hinge and a rotation at the elbow. You can see some nice gold paint here for the bands around his arm and a little bit there on his hands. Uh, there's nothing at the wrist. There's nothing at the waist. Now this is what I mostly want to talk about with these figures. They have done something where they have changed how the hips work, and it's really unfortunate. So as far as I can remember, they used to just be normal ball joints, and they worked great. But now they've kind of switched to what the Vintage Collection used to do, where you have this hinge, and then the peg is kind of up into the torso. So you have a hinge out to the side, but then if you want him to like sit, have his legs go 90 degrees forward, you have to turn the whole leg to line up the hinge and then you have to bend it. And the problem is, because of the way they've done it, you can't even really have them sit 90 degrees. Like, that's about as high as it can go when you try to turn it. Now, if I try to turn it the other way, which looks kind of ridiculous, you can kind of have him kick out to the side, so at least you can do some cool kicking poses. But as far as having him sit 90 degrees, like just, you know, have his legs 90 degrees out to sit, can't really accomplish it because of the way the, like, crotch is beveled. So... That's a bummer, and I think that's dumb, and I don't really know why they switched that, and I don't really like it. I feel like these figures are a step back, Spin Master. 
I gotta be honest. Um, not that you're watching, but it's a shame because I used to love their four inch line and it's been very stagnant for a while. And, you know, we got the few figures for the Batman movie and then we got these. And I don't remember this problem with the Batman figures. I wish I had one or two of them handy just to, to compare, but I, I put them away a while ago. But yeah, I don't like this new hip joint. Uh, the knees are the same. You have the hinge, you have the rotation. Uh, from the knee down is one solid piece. I feel like the paint here for the boots is nice. Unless this is molded in gold and then maybe the top part is painted black. I honestly can't tell. But it looks like the joints are definitely black plastic, which is good because... Gold plastic doesn't always hold up. Cape, standard cape, kind of like a clothy nylon. Uh, it does almost look like it's ripped a little bit, but I think it's just because it's only kind of connected here in that spot. So overall, it's a decent figure. I think it's fine. I just, I really don't like the new hips, unfortunately. But other than that, I think he's okay. Uh, moving on to Hawkman. I think this guy looks pretty good. I like the two accessories. He's got the axe here. He's got the nth metal mace, which I really like. I think both of these work well. They just pop into the hands and apparently pop right out of the hands as well and launch towards the camera. Uh, but here is the mace. So this looks pretty good. I like that. And then here is the axe. Fairly simplistic, but I still think it looks cool. Here is Hawkman. Now the wings are a solid piece. They're not articulated at all. They can't move around. They just plug straight into the back. So you can see here, it's just got this kind of beveled shape, so you can't put them in wrong, which is nice. But you can just take these completely out. They're not articulated in any way. Uh, the helmet, I think, looks pretty good. I like the goatee. I think that's done well. Head can turn side to side. I do like the gold here for the trim on the armor. Unfortunately, these armor pieces here on the shoulder basically make his uh, articulation in the shoulder non-existent because they kind of hit into the body right away, so he has now out to the side hinge. Uh, he does have an elbow and a rotation, pretty much the same articulation that the, uh, I almost called him the rock, Black Adam has. Again, he's got these hips that I don't like. He can sit a little better, but not really much. And then the knees. But overall, just aesthetically, I think he looks good. I like the look of the figure. I think the gold paint looks nice. I like the wings. I like his accessories. The helmet, I think, looks good. I just, those those knees make it so they really can't do anything, which is a bummer. Uh, I will put these wings back in. And the one nice thing about the wings when you have these plugged in, they're basically like extra legs because they come down so far that they touch the ground, which is nice because they would otherwise be so back heavy that I'm sure he would just fall over. But they do completely help him stand, which is nice. And then lastly, we have Cyclone. Now again, these two come included with the ship. This was a standalone figure. She seems very tiny compared to the other two. Like really tiny. Uh, she comes with these two like wind effects. And if you can see, her hands are holding on to them. It's kind of hard to get her to grasp onto those. But you can pop them out a little bit easier, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe once she's got them, she's got them forever. Yeah, they're they're not easy to get in and out. I'll give it that. There we go. Jeez. I wish they were a little easier to get in, but I do like the effect. I think it's cool the way it wraps around the hand and the way it kind of like has the hand hold a little bit deeper in so that it looks like the cyclone is kind of starting farther up the hand or up the arm. I think that's kind of cool. So that's kind of a neat accessory. Uh, face sculpt, not bad. Let me zoom in just a bit there. The eyes are a little mispainted, but overall nothing nothing too bad. Then she's got this little bit of red hair there in the middle of the brown. Uh, she also has something on her shoulder. Now she's got a little bit more movement here, but still out to the side. That's about as far as she can go. You have a hinge. You have a rotation. She's got the same hips. And then the same knees. But again, aesthetically, I think they did a nice job. The boots are nicely detailed and painted. The hair is nicely painted. So overall, I think she looks cool. I like her color scheme and everything. I, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what role she plays in the movie. But it's a cool figure. It just seems very tiny. And uh, I don't like the hips. But that goes for all of them. And I hope, I guess that's the, the, the same going forward. I kind of hope not, but... 
we'll see when I can actually find some more Spin Master figures because they've been very few and far between. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But overall, I think all three figures are decent. Paint applications look good. Articulation is okay. The shoulders and spots for these two, uh, very limited. And I don't like the hips. The accessories are good, though, too. So all in all, figures, very good. Not amazing, not perfect, but pretty good. Okay, now it's time for this thing. The Hawk Cruiser Patrol. Um, it's fairly big. I can't even really fit it in the review station that well just because of how big the wings are. Let me zoom out a bit. Um, it's got some nice gold paint here for the trim. Uh, that's about it. This thing is really basic. I mean, really basic. So it has this little cockpit section here that opens up. You have a little bit of molded in detail there. No stickers, nothing. You're just supposed to, I guess, like lay a character in here because they know they can't bend because that's how they've made them. So they can't sit. So they just lay down. Okay. And then you open this up. These bay doors open here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Again, there's no stickers, there's no play features, it's just a big open space that I guess you can just throw figures inside. There's nowhere for them to sit or hold on to. It's kind of just like a shoebox with wings. There's not much to it, there's nothing going on here. Uh, I mean, I guess you can store all your accessories and everything. But it's just kind of boring. It doesn't do anything. There's not even any stickers. Like, it looks like there's obvious places where maybe some stickers would have been nice. Uh, I double-checked the box. I didn't see anything. There's not really any instructions or anything. There's a couple molded-in details. Uh, but I think a few stickers might have gone a long way. Maybe some kind of control panels or, or surveillance screens or something. But that's it's really that's all there is. It's just these two doors here that open up and then close and then the cockpit here and that's it and that's really it uh you do have a little bit of assembly you have to uh put these wings on and i don't think they can come off once they're in there i think they're meant to to stay in there which is going to make storing it a pain um and then you just have these giant things here which i assume is just to kind of keep it level and and not put all the pressure on the wings because you wouldn't want all the pressure on the wings but yeah there's just there's just not much to this and it's kind of a bummer honestly originally i wasn't going to pick this up but i was trying to find the figures and i think normally this retails for 35 dollars, which seems ridiculous to me uh but with sales and coupons and stuff i ended up getting it for like 21 i think and given that the fact that the figures retail for about $8 a piece and I was mostly buying it for the figures, I feel like two figures at $8 a piece, you know, 21 minus 16, I paid about $5 for this ship. And I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, I certainly wouldn't have paid much more. Um, paying full retail, 35 I feel like the value is not there. Um, because at that point, you're paying almost $20 for this. And I understand it's a big hunk of plastic, but it's just boring. I mean, if you're just looking for some kind of vehicle to display, um, or maybe you want to store the figures inside, something like that, but it's just not fun to fiddle around with. It just doesn't do anything. I mean, again, size-wise, it's decent, and aesthetically, I think it looks okay, but it's just kind of boring. So quick update, you can take the wings off. They're just kind of slotted in in a way that with a little bit of pressure, you can kind of pull them back out. I think they're meant to go in and out, hopefully, because you need to be able to store it some way and it would take up significantly more room if I can't take the wings off. Uh, I did take one of the wings off here to make it fit in the review station a little bit better here. So just a quick update on that. But yeah, honestly, this thing is just not that exciting. I would honestly stick to the individual figure releases if you can still find them in your area. I think that's the best way to go. Get the figures, get their accessories for a reasonable price. I think the figures for the most part are pretty good. I do not really like the way the new hips operate, but if as long as I don't need them to actually sit 90 degrees in a vehicle or anything like that, I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, they still stand perfectly well. I do like the accessories they come with. I think the paint applications are nice. Uh, really, it's just kind of like 
the limited uh, articulation with the new hips as well as some of the shoulders due to how they're molded, things like that. So not everyone, like Black Adam has no problem with his shoulders, but Hawkman and Cyclone definitely both have limited articulation with the shoulders. But I still think they're fun figures. I mean, for what they are and for what they cost, I think they're pretty cool. The ship itself, it looks okay aesthetically. I think it's a decent looking ship and I do really appreciate the paint, the gold paint on the two wings. But it's just kind of boring. I mean, if you're just looking for something to throw figures in and just kind of have like a nice display piece, I guess it's okay. But it also just, it, it's boring. The plastic feels a little cheap, kind of hollow, which is a bummer. Even if they could have just given us some, like a sheet of stickers just for some kind of detail. Because it does seem like inside there are molded things that could be like computer monitors or something like that. That with a couple of stickers maybe could have just jazzed it up a little bit. And that would have been something simple they could have included. But unfortunately it just feels like a big, somewhat hollow, cheap plastic box that you can just put your fingers on. It's like someone took a shoebox and put wings on the side of it, and that's really what it feels like to me. So I definitely wouldn't pay full retail for it. If you can find it on like a crazy Black Friday sale or something like that, and you can get it for like 20 bucks, then I think it's probably worth it because I think the two figures are worth it, and they come with the accessories, which is nice. Uh, but I wouldn't pay more than five, ten tops for the ship on its own just because... You know, I feel like the value is just not there. It just doesn't do a whole lot, and it's it's kind of boring. But if you could find the set of the ship and the two figures for around 20 I think it's probably worth it. Uh, the figures are definitely going to have to track down um, Dr. Fate and Atom Smasher, so wish me luck on that. And if I do ever find those, I'll do a video for those two together. But yeah, I, like I said, figures are good, ship's kind of boring, that's the quick, easy takeaway. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.